Hi everyone, I hope you're doing awesome. If you don't know who I am, my name is Amanda and I'm the owner of Dash and Works here in Batavia, Illinois, which is a retail woodworking and supply store. That's always so hard for me to say. If you're new around here, we hope you like and subscribe and we'll try not to disappoint. If you're returning, welcome. It's weird, I don't know why I did that. So there are three things that I love other than my family and my work and all that fun stuff. And those three things in no particular order are gaming and comics for the horde. I put those together because I don't have time to do either anymore. So I figure they can go hand in hand. The second is television. Chris and I watch an obscene amount of TV. We'd be much more productive if we just put the remote down, but that's like our relaxing time. And the third is food. We are absolutely one of those couples that tells each other we are not gonna let the other one talk us into getting like takeout or delivery. And then we always do, like at least three times a week. It's redonkulous. All that to say, when my favorite restaurant in Batavia, Windmill Grill and Pizzeria, asked us to make sugar caddies, I was like, oh hell yeah. Because not only do they have great food, but they have something called deep fried Oreos. And I don't know if you've ever had deep fried Oreos, but they are bomb. Like, I could eat them all day, every day, for the rest of my life, bomb. So, I was like all in, I said, yes, let's do this. We made 30 sugar caddies, and I'm gonna walk you through how we did it step by step. So let's get started. You can tell by looking at Chris and myself that we aren't missing any meals. So we were super stoked to pair up with the restaurant and do this project for them. We decided to go with white oak because the restaurant actually has a whole wall of white oak and we thought it would be great for the sugar caddies to match the walls of the restaurant. I already had the design in mind because the owner of the restaurant wanted the zip code, which is the same zip code as mine, and a windmill, which is what's on everything that has to do with Batavia, other than Bulldogs. So I already have coasters made with that design. However, because I have legit OCD and 18 gajillion fonts, and that is an actual figure of how many fonts that I have, I had to go through a bunch of my fonts first to make sure that I didn't like anything better. But ultimately I settled on the design that I already have, so that's easy enough. And these are gonna go on the side of the sugar caddies. I made a jig for the laser and that way I can place the pieces in the same spot every time. Honestly, no clue what's happening here, but I had to keep it in.
I'm going to pass this over to Chris to do the routing and some of the sanding because he's a lot faster at finishing than I am. That's what she said. Ayo! We're going to use this table saw jig to make a notch where the splines are going to go. We drew a pencil mark on the band saw so that we knew how big to cut the spline. We glue the splines into place. You can kind of see Chris there in the background with his feet up on the workbench watching me glue these up. Chris finally decides to jump in and give me a hand, which is awesome sauce because this is pretty tedious work. So we went ahead and made a jig for the bandsaw and that way it cuts the splines all the same and I don't have to stand there and do it by hand, which really takes a lot of time. Here they are, ready for one last sanding. We finished these up with walrus oil. It does protect the wood quite nicely and it really makes the grain and the engraving pop.
And here they are in all their glory. We hope you like the build. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or on our Instagram at Dash 10 Works. And we'll see you next week.